last night, about a quarter to three, I stood there in the hall, fumbling for my apartment key, which wasn't there at all. It was then that I remembered I had left it next door that day. I went to knock and got a shock as a woman's voice went on to say, Oh, you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. It hurts me more than you will ever get. Though I didn't want to take it in the first place, I've enjoyed it every minute, I'll confess. It's the nicest thing I ever had a hold of, and I really hate to see it go. But you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. When I want another one, I'll let you know. Oh, you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. To think that I can keep it isn't fair. With my husband out of town, it's not so nice, sir. I get so tired of playing solitaire. With a thing like that around, I'd not be lonesome. I could use it any time when I felt blue. But you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. I think that is the wisest thing to do. Oh, you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. Remember now, you promised me you would. You might take it to my sister in Canati. I know a thing like that would do her good. How I wish I never let you put it in, sir. If I had my way, I'd never let it go. But you'll have to take it out, Mr. Morton. Yes, you've got to take it out, Mr. Morton. Won't you please take it out, Mr. Morton? Right now I can't afford it.